guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we are here today with another unboxing from Universal Yums. Yay. And if you're not familiar, Universal Yums is a monthly subscription box, $25 a month. And every single month they send you snacks and treats from a different country. So this month is Spain. So we're super excited about that. So this booklet that I'm holding up actually has descriptions of all of the different products that are in the box. And it also has um, recipes in here. So there's recipes. And then there's also fun facts about the country. So without further ado, we are going to jump in. Okay, first up, I guess it's breakfast. We're gonna have some fried egg chips. Ooh, this is, and neither one of us like fried eggs really. So it says- well, I like fried eggs, but I'm not sure. You don't like them raw. No, I don't like raw or sunny side or- So the picture here looks like a sunny side egg. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like I said, it has a little description of the product. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. It says um, fried eggs in Spain are made a little bit differently. They crack the eggs in an extra hot olive oil. What does it smell like? Does it smell like an egg? And it, it says, like oil. Oh, really? And it says um, it's gooey, runny yolk in the center. Oh. Are you just sniffing your chip or are you just sniffing mine? Did you sniff my chip? No, I didn't sniff okay. your chip. Thank you. Cheers. Ooh. No. <laughs> well, it tastes like an egg yolk. It does taste like an egg yolk. Um, and it smells, even though you can't smell it. When you bite into it, you get the. Uh, you get the egg yolk taste. And I like hard boiled eggs. Well, it tastes like a fried egg, but uh, because it talked about all the runny stuff, I, I, I'm, it turned me <laughs> off. It, it when you bite it, it tastes like a hard boiled egg yolk. Uh, it tastes like a fried egg yolk too. <laughs> you, you know, you can knock yourself out. I, I don't think I want any more. Of those you chips. hardly taste it. Mm -mm. Okay, what's Just up a next? <laughs> That's a thumbs down for me. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down for you? Thumbs down. I don't want that one. Okay. Okay. So the next one that we're gonna try, and I can't pronounce the name of it but um, it is a shortbread with orange marmalade filling. And um, does it feel soft or hard? It's soft. It's soft. So Howard likes soft stuff. I'm more of a crunchy stuff. Oh, this one broke. It broke. Oh, it broke. I'll just show it in my hand. Yeah, it kind of fell apart a little bit. Can you see there? I don't know if that helps or not. Um, but it says, let's see here. Um, this is basically mantecado. I, I don't know what that is. I guess it's like an orange, Spanish orange. And the peak season for that is August through December. 40% um, of the country. In the middle has- um, Orange marmalade. Yeah. Oh, and it says filling contains meat. Now, I don't know if it means meat. real meat. Oh, yeah, it is. It says locals combined uh, pork fat, flour, and sugar. It's gonna be good, it has pork in there. Do you wanna try some of the filling stuff or are you just gonna try the edges? I'll just try the edges. <laughs> I'll leave the meat to you. Oh, I'll have all the meat. Okay, so I'll try a little edge here. So I'll here's try. what mine looks like. It smells like orange. Cheers. It's good. It just crumbles apart. I think mm. you would like it, the orange. Mm -mm. I like it, it's very good. Maybe because I know. It does taste like marmalade and stuff. Yep. It tastes like marmalade. Mm -mm. I like it. I think what's turning me off, so there's no actual meat in here. I'm looking at the ingredients now, but it's made with lard. So the ingredients are sugar, wheat flour, lard, pumpkin, corn syrup, oranges, blah, blah, blah. This is a no for me, it's too, Thumbs up for me. Good. Thumbs down for me. Okay. Next up. It says, these are conguitos. It looks like m and to me. <laughs> it says dark chocolate covered peanuts. And it says everyone knows peanut M&Ms, even, even the Spanish. But in Spain, the colorful American classics face some serious competition. Um, so these are very popular there. Um, they're little. Yeah. Are they all brown or are they different colors like the Oh, I lost some. They're all brown. So they're all brown. 
and they're quite a bit smaller than a, a regular M&M, especially mm. a peanut M&M. You know what it looks like to me? No. Probably shouldn't say this. Rabbit pellets, but. <laughs> Cheers. It looks like it's more like the size of a raisinette. Okay. Okay. Peanut coated, I mean, the chocolate. It does taste like an M&M, but it's dark chocolate. Actually, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. I don't think we have dark chocolate peanut M&Ms here in the US, do we? I have no idea. They should make one. Those are actually pretty good. Okay, so the next thing are these Espil. Oh wait, which one is that? Is that it? So Espil Espitos. And it says they are a ham flavored corn puff snack. Yes. Oh, I don't know about that. But it, it says visiting Spain without tasting ham. That's impossible. Well, ham is good, but this is very light. It's very. And it says um, ham is a crown jewel of the Spanish cuisine. Um, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Like oh, that's puff, interesting. Uh... Is there something in the middle? Um, no. No, there's just, no filling. No, it's, it's just, just like the. It's, it's, I can see right through it. Hmm. Okay, it says bold, it says it has a bold flavor of Iberian ham in the form of a crunchy corn puff. Try not to hog this yum, it says. I'll try not to hog it. Okay, <laughs> you got me a little bit. I know, you didn't want a little piece. You want a big piece like mine? It smells like ham. That's good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wow, this, this, this integrates in your mouth. It's like a puff, I like it. And you don't like puffs. You don't like Cheetos no, puffs. No, this just, it just melts in your mouth. It really does. And if you get the ham flavor in there. That's not bad. I'll have to give that one a thumbs up. See? Good thing you tried it. And what do you give it? Thumbs up. Okay. Moving on to the next one. It is the, uh, I can't pronounce it, but it's a soft cake with cream filling. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you. No, because I don't really like soft stuff. But it says... Um, Feels heavy, it's very dense. It has a sugary glaze on it, and the nuns eat it in this particular city. Um, it says it's a decadent cake with a luscious oh. cream and a super sweet, that does not look like what I thought. Uh, it has a is it cream, heavy? Or it's very heavy, mm. dense, thick. You want a little piece or you want a big Wait, piece? You know I want a little piece. I would like a little piece, please. I really like that ham puff thing. See? You know, Cheetos should come out with like a ham puff. Cheetos. Mm. Ham and cheese. All right, here's your little piece. Oh no. I got my man size piece. And it's kind of wet feeling too. Mm. He likes stuff like that. Cheers. Cheers. We don't like the way it smells. Mm. Not so. Mm -mm. It tastes like- I'll give it like a thumb sideways. I give it a thumbs down because it tastes like uncooked cake to me. I don't like that. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, oh, so next up, we are trying some artisan potato chips, Mediterranean herb with assorted herbs, garlic, and onion. And this is what it looks like. So now we're we'll getting to something that I think I might enjoy. Grab one. One for you too. I got it. So it says parsley, garlic, and onion, savory adobo seasoning. Actually, I want a bigger one. I want a bigger one? Yeah. It smells good. Cheers. Nope. Mmm. I like it. What don't you like? It tastes green. What's the parsley? Oh, basil. It has basil, basil parsley, parsley, garlic, and onion. Put some ham on there. Where, where's the Spanish ham? <laughs> I like these. These are a thumbs up for me. If you like herby stuff, and they kind of taste like a kettle chip too, so it's really kind of crunchy. Okay, so the next thing, you wanna open these things up? These are um, candy coated white chocolate and caramel pieces. And we've had these before. I think we got these in another box. Oh, and yeah. these kind of taste like, um, plain M&Ms, but they're made with um, white chocolate. They have kind of like caramel oh, flavor. Butter. Okay. Cheers. And they're like an M&M, but they're flat. Cheers. 
Yeah, I like these. I liked them last time too. Good. Those are really good. Thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me. Okay. So the next thing, again, I cannot pronounce the name, but they are chili barbecue flavored corn and rice snacks. Mm -hmm. They kind of look like, um, I don't know if you can show you. This is what they look like. Kind of like a Chinese rice cracker mix. Oh. Kind of what they remind me of. I may not like it. That's not so all that, well, I don't know, Chinese rice cracker, but it has ham or something in there, right? I think it's ham. Is it pork or something, right? Did it? Chili barbecue. Ah, barbecue, all right, good. So they do have corn nuts in there. I got a star like a little. And, a, and a little ball thing. Cheers. Mm. Get the barbecue a bit, but it's a little spicy, it got a little spice too, but. I like it, you got some on your chin. But I don't like the puff. Stuff, no. I do like this because it has, if I can find one, there's like a Frito in there, which kind of reminds me of like a chili cheese Frito. So if you like Fritos and you like that chili cheese flavored Cheeto that I like, this is what this snack mix tastes like. So I give that one thumbs up. Man. I definitely, thumbs up. Diagonal down, not quite all the way down. Okay. So another thing that we have, are these spicy mango flavored gummies. That looks familiar, like we've had that before. I feel like we've had that before too, and I don't really care for mango. Uh, I don't mind mango, but we'll see how these taste. I remember they being spicy. Mm. <laughs> this is extremely hot commodity. Um, it's fruity and spicy. Ooh, cheers. cheers. I think it's Yeah, taste mango. Taste the mango. I taste the spiciness too. I do taste the spiciness. I don't care for it. I don't like. Um, Not bad. It definitely has a kick because I can feel it in the back of my throat. Spicy mango. I don't think I like. I don't think I would like a spicy gummy bear. Like if it was, you know, the traditional, I wouldn't want it spicy. I don't like, I don't like this combo. If you like sweet and spicy, I think you'd like it. It's not bad at all. I taste the mango, it definitely, if you like mango, you may like it, especially with a little kick on there. Yeah, there's definitely a kick for sure. I'm trying to see what spice is in there. I don't see it off the top of my, I mean, I'm glancing through the list here of ingredients and I don't see like cayenne it's pepper spicy. or anything. <laughs> I don't see anything, but I, I don't care for this. For me, this would be a thumbs down. Mm, thumb partially up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so it's your turn. And it is Carmen Luke. I can't pronounce it, but it's an olive oil cookie with almond and spices. All right, I'm not sure if olive oil cookie does it for me, but it has other stuff which makes it, makes it taste good. It says, Spain is the world's largest producer of olive oil, accounting for 21% of the global supply. Um, it says it's an almond-infused olive oil cookie. Is it hard or soft? Uh, it's dense, Okay. but not crunchy. Okay. So the ingredients say wheat flour, sugar, ver extra virgin olive oil, spices, almonds, and yeast. So this should be interesting. Mm. Okay. Mm. Smell like raisins or something. Yeah. Not soft. Mm -mm. It kind of, I wouldn't say powdery, but it's kind of um, crumbly. Mm. I don't care for that. It has an odd flavor. I'll tell you what it is. I don't really like almond flavored things. I love almonds. This has an almond flavor and you can taste the olive oil. I think it's just something, I, I'm not into it. It's not bad. I don't get a full thumbs up, but a diagonal thumbs up. I give it a thumbs down. Okay. So the next thing that we're gonna try are these biscuits with a lemon cream filling. And biscuits are cookies. 
And let's see, it says, ready for a taste of sweet success. Um, the company behind these zesty cream filled biscuits is as successful as can be. Um, I personally love lemon flavored hmm. stuff. So they're not cookies, they're biscuits. So What's the I difference? Don't... I thought a biscuit was a cookie. Uh, I think biscuit's harder than a cookie. Okay, so I'm gonna try that out. It says it has deliciously zingy lemon cream. Zingy. All right. Okay, cheers. I like it. Yeah, it does have a really good flavor. Definitely tastes lemony, don't you think? It does. I'm not sure what the biscuit part of it though. You don't like the crunch, crunchy cookie? It's like a plain cookie. It's not very sweet. The cookie, the biscuit, I should say, in itself is not super sweet. No, you need the cream to help it out. <laughs> I like it. I'd give it a thumbs up and I'd buy it in the store if I saw it. I'd do it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing that we've got to try is... Um, you... Uh... Oh. There's one more here, whatever this is. So they are cocoa dusted chocolate truffles. Okay, let me open this box. <clears throat> so it says, let's see. This chocolate is a huge secret. Um, the Spanish conquistador, conquistador first encountered chocolate as a bitter spiced drink in Aztec, Mexico. Bitter spice? Yeah, there are scissors over there. Um, let's see here. Spanish monarchy, seeing how lucrative chocolate could be, tried to keep it hush hush. And um, in 1606, the entire continent was in on the sweet secret. Here it is, looks like a kiss. Looks like a dusty kiss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cheers. cheers. Very chocolatey. Very chocolatey. Um, dark chocolate. It is dark chocolate, but it's not bitter. You know how some chocolates are very, very bitter? This is not like that. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'm not very chocolate, not into a chocolate much, but. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a thumbs up too. Pretty good, not bad. Okay, so the next thing that we have to try are. It's the last thing. Is it the last thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, it is the last thing. The last thing that we have to try are the palomitas, which are ketchup and oh. mustard flavored baked corn snacks. I can bet I won't like it. I can bet I won't like it. Why won't you like it? Mustard. Ketchup for me. <laughs> <laughs> and look puffy. Can I see the scissors, please? Thank you. I don't know what am I gonna do with this puff thing. Looks like a popcorn sort of look. Cheers. Doesn't taste like anything. It's like ketchup. I don't taste ketchup. But I could do without that. I'll give that one a thumbs down. <laughs> you had one little tiny piece and you said it doesn't taste like anything, you give it a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with that. Yeah, it's not my favorite. So what was your least favorite thing out of this entire box? Uh, well, hmm. I didn't like the egg. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. I would say that was my least favorite thing. It tastes like a hard boiled egg chip. I think it just tastes like an egg yolk. But it tastes um, like a, a hard boiled egg yolk. Oh, have you ever had a fried egg yolk? I would yeah. Be, okay, well, it tastes like egg. It's not good, and I like eggs. Um, so what was your favorite thing? It could be this uh, cookie thing with the, with the... Which one was it? Uh, this one, possibly. So that would be your favorite? I think so. So for me, I would have to say my favorite. I'm torn between two. You like this one. I really like that one a lot. And then I also really like this snack mix too. Oh, how about your green chips? I really like those too, but if I had to pick, 
it would be probably be these. So anyway, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we hope that you'll do so. And uh, we welcome your comments and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.